Hello there. Welcome to this video creating a security key on your Thingworks platform. In this video we're going to log into your Thingworks platform and we're going to create a security key for you. Now why do you need this security key? Now let's say that you have an IoT device and you want to be able to connect to the IoT platform. It needs some authentication mechanism. So that authentication is provided by this security key. So this security key has to be created on the Thingworks platform and then you use this security key on your IoT device at the time of sending the request. So the IoT platform will get the security key along with the REST call. It will authenticate, it will check if this is right and if it is right then it will give you access to the assets you are trying to access on the IoT platform. Alright, so much for it. Let's go ahead and take a look how to create it. Alright, so I am on my landing page. So if you're not logged in, go ahead and log in. So it's the same procedure. The first you have to log in in the developer.thingworks.com and make sure that your server is running. If it's not running, go ahead and start the server and then launch the server. Once you do that, you'll be able to come here. Alright. Now to create a security key, you first need to locate your security tab. So come here and locate your security tab. Now within the security tab, there's something called the application keys. So this is what we want to create. We want to create a secure application key. So go ahead and click on it. Once you click on it, it will be shown the existing keys. Now we want to create a new key. So go ahead and say new. It's very straightforward. Go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to say IoT test. And you have to associate this key with a user. So in this case, we're going to associate this with the administrator. And that's about it. Now there are some other features here which we're going to be skipping for now. Alright, go ahead and save this. As usual, you need to save all the assets which you create for it to take effect. Once you save it, now you're going to be actually able to see your security key or the application key. So this is what we're going to be using in your IoT device along with your REST call or in any other REST simulator to access the Thingworks IoT platform. Perfect. Now you know how to create an application key and what it is used for. In the next video, we're going to actually perform the REST call. We're going to get started with the GET REST call. Exciting.